guys, in this video I'm going to talk you through a pie chart question. So here we have a pie chart that illustrates the values of various goods sold by a shop. If the total value of the sales was $24,000, find the sales value of toys, books, furniture and food. Okay. We've also been given a pie chart okay, with the number of degrees for toys, books and furniture. Okay, so the pie chart is not to scale. So usually you wouldn't be able to use a protractor, okay, to measure the angles. They've been given to us in the question, okay? Now, to work out the value that was made for toys, what you need to do is find out the fraction of toys. And to do that, you need to use the number of degrees for toys, so 45 and write it out of 360 because there are 360 degrees in a full circle okay so that is the fraction of toys 45 over 360 okay so it's always going to be out of 360 because pie charts are always circles and like I said before in a full circle you have 360 degrees now that we've got the fraction of toys to work out the value made for toys you need to multiply by the total amount made from sales, so $24,000. If you multiply that fraction with the total value of sales, it gives you $3,000. Okay, so we've already done part one. For the next part, books, you use exactly the same concept. You need to find out the fraction sold for books, okay? So you take the number of degrees, so 60, and again, you write it out of 360, so the denominator is always the same. And then again, you multiply by the total value of sales, okay, so 24,000. Okay, so this time when you multiply this fraction by 24,000, you get $4,000, okay? So you can see it's quite straightforward. You just take the number of degrees, write it out of 360 and times by the total value. And you do that each time. OK, so hopefully you can see what you need to do to work out the value made on furniture. 90 degrees over 360 degrees multiply by the total value again, 24,000. And this time we get 6,000 dollars okay so for the last part food we haven't been given the number of degrees okay you can either work out the number of degrees so subtract these three numbers from 360 and it gives you 165 and then you can use the exact same method that we did there alternatively you could subtract 3,000, 4,000 and 6,000 from the total amount, 24,000, because these are the only goods we're talking about in this question. So all of the values should add up to 24,000. So you've got two different methods to use. I'm just going to stick with the same method, okay? Seems a bit easier now that I've got the number of degrees to do it that way. But like I said, you can do it differently if you prefer. Okay, so this time I'm going to cheat and use my calculator. So we've got a fraction, 165 out of 360. And when I multiply by 24,000, I get 11,000. Okay, so as a quick check at the end of the question, you could just add these up just to make sure they definitely equal 24,000. If they don't, then you've made a mistake and you just need to go back and check your working out. Okay, so I hope that makes pie charts a little bit easier. I will have some other questions on pie charts coming up soon.